Hey, Kelly Williams Livingston, it's Jeff here. Um, I had a few minutes, so let me just show you guys how to use designs. Um, I'm sure many of you know how to use it, so I'm gonna put up, uh, there might be some people who actually don't know how to use it really well, or not yet at least. So let me show you how to do something pretty straightforward and simple. Um, you can use this for uh, landing pages, social, print, your agent site, which is uh, to be continued, I believe on 1022. Uh, but anyway, let's keep it simple and let's do something about um, an open house that you're going to to be uh, advertising or, or putting on your social media. So what you can do is log into command like we've done here. And you're going to, if you haven't done so, right here in the little sketch box here, you're going to click designs. And then you're going to come to this particular page. Load it, load up. And you can see here, this is all the stuff that I've done in the past. Um, and it tells you how many you've done in the past. I've done quite a bit. I actually probably need to weed this out. But anyway, um, for those who have done in the past, this is everything you've done. But if you click these headers up here, it'll show you, it'll break it down to those particular headers. So um, these are the landing pages I've worked on, social media pages, print pages, so on and so forth. Um, so again, this is just a place where everything um, is broken down to what you've done in the past. Um, but we're gonna focus on how to do something brand new. So what you're gonna do on the bottom right here is click the big old plus sign and let's do something social media for your open house. So social is already selected. We're gonna click create the template. Let that load up. And you can see here, there's a whole bunch of categories. So we can go directly to, where are we going? Open house is somewhere here, home value. Open house, here we go. And you can see there are a couple pre-done formats. Again, we'll keep it simple. You're gonna choose your format, be it Facebook, Instagram, Instagram Stories, LinkedIn, or Twitter. We'll stick with Facebook, but you can see when you change the, uh, the format, it'll change the format along so you get an idea what it looks like. But again, we'll keep it simple. Facebook, click Use. Let that load. All right, so you have a lot you can change here. You can change the texts. You can change the photos. You can change your logo here. And I already did another video uh, that I posted in the, um, the group page. Just look for my posts um, for a short video how to do that. It's really easy and something you all should do if you haven't done it already. So I guess what we wanna do first is let's say we want to change the text here. So you can do a couple of different things with this text is you can actually manipulate it while you're here. Like if you wanna change colors or change fonts or size. But to make it even easier is once you highlight the box, click up here where it says typewriter. And it's just so much easier to, uh, to re-manipulate it or retype it. So let's say um, you're invited. We're gonna click save changes. You can see it's actually too big. So you can, again, you can drag your box around, make it wider. You can drag the corner, make it smaller, reposition it like that. We'll go to this box. We'll go back to typewriter. Let's say you're invited to the open house. Open house, um, Sunday, two, two, four. And the address is one, two, three, Main Street. Click Save Changes. Clearly it's too big. So we're going to fix that. Make it smaller. Reposition it. Okay. So you can see we've changed the text. Pretty straightforward. You can see the, the guidance lines kind of pop up so you know when you're centered. And if you've really if you've worked in PowerPoint before, you can do this. Um, even here, if I'm not happy with how it's left justified, I can go up here in the alignment and let's say I want to justify it all center, left, right, or spread it all the way out to the edges. I guess that didn't make that much of a difference. There you go. Centered make a difference. Looks good. Now let's say I want to change the color of the font and you're invited. Um, you cannot do that in typewriters. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click and highlight 
all the words in the text, go to fill color, change the color, or if you want to, you can drag the dot around to get whatever color you want, and you can see how it changes the color right over here, or drag the slide, again, it's changing the color over here. Once you find the color you like, you can click apply. But let's say you want to be consistent with the colors in this woodwork over here, for whatever reason. So you click here, click the fill color, click the eyedrop, drag the eyedrop to whatever color you want to be close to. So let's say right here, this brown, click it, apply, and it's going to do its best approximation to that color brown. All right, so we've done our text, we've done colors, we've adjusted the size of, by dragging the corners over here. Or if you really want to adjust the font, you can come up here and move up and down, change the font to whatever you want, or you can just flat out type it in manually. And you can change, I'm sorry, I should say the point size, not the font size. This is the font. Um, so you can go through all the fonts and change it to whatever you want. All right, so we'll keep it as simple as possible. We're happy with the text. All right, now you need to change the Keller Williams logo here. So all you really need to do is highlight it once by clicking it once, press delete on your keyboard, it goes away. Over here in my library, um, I'm going to choose the KW logo I prefer the best. Let's go with this one because I like the red and white. Um, you see there are two options here, use as an image or use as background. We want to use it as an image. So click it once. Here it is, drag it over. And you make it small or as large as you want. There you go, there's your KWSR logo. Okay, now we want to change the photos in this template to the listing that we're going to be promoting. All right, so super easy now. Go to KWLS over here on the left, click it once, search for your KW listing. You can use by the address, MLS number, however you want to do it. We'll go by address since I know the address I'm looking at, which is, we'll use five slope. You don't have to do the whole thing. Click in the magnifying glass and you kind of look for it. You know, it's somewhere here. No, let's go, let's go a little further. Let's go it's slope drive. Here we go, slope drive. Now, you're gonna click select, but just so you know, this will access any um, listing that's on the MLS. It doesn't actually necessarily need to be yours, um, so which is great. I'm gonna click select. Boom, all the photos that are there, that are in the MLS are now available to you. So what are you gonna do? How do we replace this kitchen photo with the, uh, the shot over here? Easiest way to do it, without reformatting anything difficult, click the this photo once. You see it's all highlighted here. Go to the photo you like. Now you notice that before there was just the added image and use their background, but now there's a replace icon here. So all you gotta do is click the replace image once and it fills it in. Amazing. Um, but you know, this is kind of cut off here. I really don't need all this dead lawn here or newly seated lawn. So what I'm gonna do is see it's still highlighted here. I'm gonna click reposition and I can reposition the house any way I want up and down like that. I'm happy with that. I'll click done. And we'll do the same thing over here. Highlight it. We'll just throw this kitchen image in here. Highlight it. Let's throw in so in this bathroom image, I don't like that one. So let's change it again to, I don't know, this one's a fireplace. That's pretty nice. Going to get rid of this. Let's move that to, ooh, let's do this one. Okay, so there you go. That is all done for your open house. So you now we've you're invited open house when and where. You've got your photos, everything's done. You've got your logo. So again, so this is a very simple way to create your own open house social media post for Facebook. You can rename it here. So we'll just call it Five Slope. You're gonna save it over here. That's gonna save it into your design folder, but you still need to download it in order to post it. 
Um, you can directly share to Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter from here. Um, it does work. I personally prefer to download it and do it through Facebook um, directly. More precisely, I typically do it through um, campaign so I can schedule my Facebook post so I can just do it all at once for the week. You can do it for a week, for the month, whatever you want to do and pre-schedule them so you never have to look at them again for a while, but that'll be a different video. Um, but right now we'll just download it. You're going to start your download. Give it a moment. It's going to get there. Okay, and then you just download it to whatever your filing system looks like. You put it there as a JPEG, and then you go and post as you normally do in uh, Facebook or in, um, in uh, I'm sorry, in uh, campaigns if you want to pre-schedule it. So yeah, that only took a couple minutes to do a really quick and easy, you're invited open house post uh, in design. So hopefully that helped some of you out. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Give me a call, text, or if you see me in the office, you know, you can stop me. Um, I'm happy to answer any um, questions for you. Um, all right, so that's it. Uh, I guess I'll see you around the Market Center. If you guys have any uh, ideas for any other easy videos to do, I'll be more than happy to entertain the, uh, the idea. See you around. Thank you.